Wrestling isn't just making history right now, it may soon be history. The Olympic Committee announced today that it has voted to drop wrestling from the 2020 Games. Allison Morrow shows us why a Tampa Bay wrestling coach says he has to find a new future for his team. Their state championship titles date back to 1977. In fact, so many wrestling banners decorate Brandon High School's gym, there's really no room to hang any other sports. Go, let's go. But this coach isn't satisfied with state championships. He has the same dream as one of his star wrestlers. Competing in the Olympics, or at least trying for an Olympic spot, has always been my top main goal. Senior Kevin Nordstrom won his first state championship in eighth grade. This weekend, he'll compete for his fifth. If anyone on this team could make it to the Olympics, it's him. And so news that the Olympic Committee voted to drop the sport in 2020. It crushed me a little bit knowing that, you know, I've been working towards this goal and now it's almost unfeasible. The IOC wants to modernize the games to attract younger viewers while limiting the number of athletes competing, cutting one of the oldest sports, not just a blow to wrestlers like Nordstrom, but to lifelong coaches. Gotta be ready, arm drags. Russ Cozart's trained hundreds of state and national champions in his 33 years at Brandon High School. He says he'll refocus his players toward college careers like the one Nordstrom just signed at Virginia Tech. It's gonna be a little difficult you know living without the Olympic dream your Olympic torch has basically gone out right in front of your face they hope the Olympic Committee might reverse their decision in May but if not they'll leave their disappointment on the mat don't step off the mat knowing you could have done more everything you've got every move you have every ounce of energy you have needs to be left on the mat because when you get off the mat it's over in Brandon Allison Morrow ABC Action News